Welcome to my YouTube channel, Jennifer Velasquez Music. And today I'm going to teach you how to put tapes on a violin. There's different ways to do it, obviously, but this is how I do it. First of all, you're going to need the violin that you're going to retape. You're gonna need the tapes. I have many colors. You can get them online, on the, at the music store. You're gonna need tapes. And it's not just any tape, it's a special type of tape for the wood instruments for the violin. You're gonna need a pencil, you're gonna need scissors, and you're also going to need baby wipes. Baby wipes? Yes, baby wipes, because you can clean the violin with baby wipes, it's practical, and it doesn't have alcohol. Now, uh, this is obviously not the <laughs> specific uh, product that you would clean the violin with but if you are in a rush and you want to find something at home or at the store very quickly so you can retape your violin or the cello or the bass or the viola baby wipes will do just fine the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to remove this old tape i'm using one of my students violin this is this tape is old so we're going to remove it you can remove it with the baby wipes uh, but first i'm doing it with just my fingers removing the tape and when you remove this tape um it's like sticky you know like this in the fingerboard it gets sticky so that's why we're using the baby wipes so we can clean it and it doesn't feel sticky at the end here is sticky where the end the tape was i'm just going to clean it and remove that sticking it that little glue there it's old and that's it that is it and now what i'm going to need is a tuner i use this inks tuner it's called inks tuner and it's free on the any apple device if you have an Android or any other devices, you can do it with other apps. There's a million free apps that you could use to tune uh, your instrument, or you can just use a tuner. I don't have a tuner right now because it's just better to do, do it with my iPad. But Inst Tuner is amazing because it tells you whether you need to tune up or tune down uh, depending on the tuning of the instrument. So the first thing we're gonna need is the tuner. And then we're also gonna need a pencil. So I'm going to find the exact note where I would put the tape. I'm going to pencil in a line and then I'm just going to tape it right there. And that's what we're going to use the um, tuner for. It has to be completely green in order to be uh, in tune. So let's just tune first. We're going to tune the A. Here it is, I'm going to tune the A. Now I'm gonna tune the B. B is my first finger, it's the first tape of the violin. Let's see if it's in tune. It's green. So that's exactly where I am going to pencil in a line. Maybe you can't see it from there, but I've made a line with a pencil. Then I'm going to do C sharp. C sharp is the second tape that you should put on the violin. There it is, it's green. I'm going to pencil in that line. And then we're gonna do D. There it is. D is the third line, third tape. And the last one is in E. There it is, that's the fourth tape of the violin. There it is. Once you have all the lines penciled in, that's when the tape comes in. And I'm going to tape it orange, because I think orange is cool and we are in fall season, so I think it's appropriate. <laughs> 
I do it from the bottom under where the bridge is under the strings and then I roll it up all the way up and I make sure that it's straight there it is it is straight and once I finish I double check that I did it right perfect it is just perfect I do the ending and then I use the scissors to cut the tape and we are done with our first tape I'm gonna show you how to do the other tapes very quickly and then show you the final product let's go We are done. This is the final product. We have the four tapes. Every beginner needs tapes at least the first couple weeks so they can know exactly where to put the fingers and memorize the uh, pattern between the notes and the distance between the notes. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to ask you to subscribe and share this videos with all those people that need and want to know how to tape or retape their instruments. See you next time.